What's up, guys? Another episode of Texas Platinum right here, right now. It's been a while since uh, we had a recruiting update episode, and I'm pretty sure the last time we had one, the the sky was falling. Yeah. And uh, it looked like it was a long night. We were gonna be uh, a, a, in a drought of recruits for a while, but since then the tide has turned, um, and we had our 2020 class, our COP 2020 is looking pretty good. Um, we got the two headliners, Bijan Robinson, Vernon Broughton. It's looking good. It's looking good. We're getting some uh, some uh, nice recruits. Uh, one out of Arizona, and uh, actually I don't even know where Vernon Broughton's from. Where is he from? From Houston, Cy- Cypress, oh, Cy- yeah. Ridge. You know what it is. But uh, man, Bijan Robinson, that guy's a stud. Me and Matt were talking about it. We think he he's kind of looks like Saquon Barkley when he runs. I, I think I, it's 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 the lateral speed, man. It yeah, it really is. It's the it's the like. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure every back, every good back knows how to juke, but it's like it's not like the like the whole like it's like the side steps, side step juke. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it where, is, like, it where like you get yeah. multiple people flying past you just with like a step instead of like a little like hezy move. It's 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 that lateral qu- quickness that I really really love about him, man, and. Yeah, like he uh, he can also hurdle people like Saquon. Uh, the one knock he's a five star by the way, and the one knock I've been hearing from Aggies, of course, is uh, he runs a four seven seven. But Mike Roach cleared that up. He said that was uh, that four seven seven was recorded when he was a freshman unofficially. So I, I would imagine be at least in the four five. So he he's got that breakaway 14, speed. Yeah, 15 years old. yeah. So I think his speed's really good. Actually, you yeah. see him breaking when he ever. People have the angle on him in, in high school. He seems to mm-hmm. outrun him. So I'm not concerned about his speed at all. His quick, quickness is elite. He's a strong guy. He's really built. He's really swole. Um, not that tall, six foot. But he's a he's a great guy you want in your program. He seems very family oriented. Uh, it seems like we lost him to Ohio State. But yeah, uh, <laughs> some salty Buckeyes. Yeah, salty. I'm not surprised. That's the worst yeah. fan base in college football. I know. Um, but. Yeah, we stole them from the Buckeyes. Uh, within a week, too, right? It was like yeah, a like, fast turnaround. He was about to commit within like five days, and then Steve Volkwagen and dropped the bomb that Bichon's going to Texas, and he was right. And it seems Stay like, close to home, baby. Yeah, Stay exactly. Stay close to home. Exactly. So we got Bichon, another Arizona pipeline. We're building that up. Uh, too bad we can't get Keely Ringo anymore. It really sucks that Georgia really outdid, or out, Georgia really recruited him very nicely. So, um, yeah, and then also Vernon Broughton. What do you think? You love Vernon Broughton. It's just it's an NFL body, bro. It's yeah, an NFL body on the line, and you can't you can't you can't ask more than that. Especially a guy that 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 age, like you really have to have like the size. To, uh, is he a four star? High four star. High yeah. four star. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, he has the size. He has the quickness. Um, Oscar Guy was really. Really came through. I was I was doubting the man a little bit in the in the beginning of the summer, but that's a big get, man. Yeah, the that's best defensive lineman in Texas. Yes, yeah, to go head to head with the Aggies against uh, who else? LSU's Barbie in there Kuzan, too. Whatever his name Bama, is. I believe. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a pretty big get against some pretty good suitors too. So uh, hats off to Oscar Kyle for getting that guy. Yeah, I'm excited about people him. always rip him. Like we lost to Marvin Lill last year. Mm-hmm. Um, we've missed out on some good defensive linemen, but he's putting a nice class together. Uh, and we got more coming. Hopefully, Alfred Collins can enter the mix in a few weeks. Um, but that's not that's that's far from over. I think we're we're the the leader at the moment. But we still got official visits to A and M and other schools, so that's one to watch. Um, but yeah, those two guys are the type of guys you need to win at a high level, uh, especially in the trenches. That's what we've been lacking mm-hmm. on the defensive line, and uh, we're addressing it, which is great. Um, but yeah, two high ranked guys. We also got other guys though, like. Van Fillinger, Utah. Um, yeah, just lurking out there. I think he's the second best player in Utah. Third, third best player. I really love his film. He's he's such a beast. I think he'll probably end up by a, at a four star once the burn, burn orange media conspiracy adjusts his ranking. And uh, once we uh, pay a few people off, um, yeah, he'll get up there. Definitely. And Andre Carriage from South Lake Carroll, Little Jordan's High School. Mm. Uh, we took him over Chad Lindbergh, it looks like. I don't know if we backed yeah, off Lindbergh. Yeah. Maybe we just got beat out by Georgia. I don't really know, but the thing about Lindbergh is he wanted to play offensive tackle, and he's just not a tackle. He's, he's an offensive guard. He's 
He uh, he's a great player, but I don't think he'll be a tackle at the next level. Uh, he might be. I might be completely wrong, but I think Andre Kirich is more of a long-term tackle uh, prospect uh, with a higher upside. Uh, he reminds me a lot of Sam Cosme in terms of like his potential to grow into a beast. He's Houston, okay, sorry to interrupt. He was from Houston too, right? Carriage? No. Carriage? No, from South Lake. South Lake. I think that's uh, South Lake Carroll. I think that's yeah. Dallas area. Oh, uh, okay. My bad. Dallas to Austin, yeah. baby. But, uh, but yeah, uh, he's got a lot of potential. He's got quick feet. He's got a frame to put on a lot of weight. And he's got uh, unbelievable film. So. It's really exciting to get these guys on board. Who else have we got in this class? We got to commit today, actually. Um, uh, or recently, Jaron Thompson. Jaron Thompson. And then, what, two, three days before that, it was Pouncey. Yeah, that was a surprise. Ethan yeah. Pouncey, uh, the, the younger brother of Jordan Pouncey, our wide receiver, he's a highly ranked guy out of Florida, uh, defensive back, and he committed to Texas randomly. And that was right after we lost Chris Thompson to Auburn, so we got one back at them and just stole. Wait, wasn't he leaning Auburn too? Well, Bouncy? his crystal ball was on Auburn. Yeah, yeah right. So yeah, he's playing the game. Man. Yeah, he's and, and he game. is higher rated than Chris Thompson. So I mean, I'll take it. I, I watched his film, man. He looks great. He looks really good. I think he'll do well in the Big Twelve against some of the. I think he's six one. He's got great ball skills and he can hit. So I feel like he'll be. He's a really long guy. I feel like he'll be great against all like the CD Lambs and. Jalen Rager, Tyron Wallace is mm-hmm. of the world. So I, you got to get good DBs in the Big 12, and that's one of them. And then also Jaron Thompson. Yes, sir. From Beast, Texas, Lufkin High School. Uh, I watched his film, man. He's kind of a late bloomer in terms of, like, his recruitment. He kind of just busted on the scene, at least for the long ones he recently offered him. And you can tell he wanted to be here. He committed. But he had offers from LSU, Notre Dame. A uh, bunch of big schools. He's, not, he's a true four star, uh, and we, we beat out some schools for him. And he had a great commitment video. I had to go watch that. Yeah. It was really cool. He put us over the top. We're uh, top ten class. Yeah, right. We're, we're, we're nine, nine right now. now. Yeah, and we're coming for more. Yeah. Um, that was a big game. That was happening though. Like as we're filming this, what like only like what two hours ago? Yeah, it just happened. And um, yeah, so. You gotta love it. Uh, we're finally putting, just stacking up talent like we always do. This class has potential to end up in the top 10. I know we're taking a smaller class, um, so I don't expect the top three repeat. Uh, just because of the numbers. Taking, why are we taking a smaller class? Uh, this is scholarship. Uh, really? I think we're just low on scholarships to give out this year. Um, but we should get a top seven class if everything falls correctly. Maybe top five. Um, hopefully. But. Who else? Who else is committed since we've been gone? Um, Man, a few twenty twenty. We talk about Prince Dorba. I mean, that's old. Prince Dorba. It was old, but badass name. So yeah, he's, he's he's got a great film. He's gonna be a Prince B-backer Dorba. for us from Nigeria. They have a whole YouTube video on like how we got over here. It's really it's really cool to watch. A uh, really good guy. So seems cool. like. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the twenty twenty class. We're in a great spot. Uh, number one Big Twelve now. Mm-hmm. I think we have this, the third best average player quality this is behind Clemson and Bama so that's some great company to be in uh, and yeah 2020 is looking great we got some more big fish to fry uh, namely the guy we need to get in my opinion is Quentin Johnston he's a uh, an elite wide receiver he's 6'5 he runs like a deer he's like a freak athlete he's, I think he had an offer from this can't be right but I heard he had an offer from Duke to play basketball <laughs> like like something like that he's that type of athlete and uh if you watch his film you'll see it he kind of reminds me of Demond Demas uh in terms of his athleticism he can get Demas. up yeah and that's the guy we need to have it seems like it's down to us or TCU uh he wants to decide before the season starts and that's the guy you have to have uh, especially in our class we missed out on Demas and who else have we missed out on uh, Johnny Wilson just committed to Oregon so our receiver board's coming kind of thin now we got LV, Bunkley, Shelton, Quentin Johnston, and I forget who else, but that's a guy you need to have. He's a he's a freak. He would he would fill in for Colin Johnston as soon as he's gone. So uh, other than that, that's pretty much where we're at right now. Yeah, uh, I mean, pretty sure 2020 we touched on all the big ones. Um, I mean, Jaquindon's in that one, right? 2020. Yeah, Jaquindon's in there. Did we mention the last 
video? I really don't remember, but he's in there too. He's got that Dal Dallas pipeline right there. Yeah. So, um, that's what I respected. Um, 2021's, what, top? Actually, I don't even know what the ranking is on them, but I know it's doing pretty yeah, well. Yeah, 2021's exploding right now. I believe yeah. we're the second highest yeah. class in 2021. You got... Uh, we got Billy Bowman recently who committed. That guy, that, if you watch that guy's film, that guy's insane. highlight tape is unreal, man. As a sophomore in high school, it looks like Tylen Wallace or like Case Stearns. Freaking stud already. I don't know how he's not a five star right now. That guy looks like he could be a five star like in this year's class. Like it's crazy. I don't know how like how he's so good. Too, Dude, Denton Jeez. Ryan has some players, man. They, they're stacked. They got Jatavion Sanders, uh, Billy Bowman, and. The other standards, the quarterback who mm. plays linebacker <laughs> going to Bama. They're pretty stacked. So 2021 is looking great. Billy Bowman. Uh, we stole Hayden Connor from AM, which is always fun. He was a lock there. Uh Milrow, Jalen. Jalen Milrow, yeah, he's the truth. He's the one that's kind of like spearheading this entire just like 2021. Movie. Right? No? No. He's from Katie. He's so from Katie. He's that's the guy that was from Katie. Okay, okay yeah. 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 But uh but yeah, man, this this 2021 class is kind of already competing with the 2020 class. They're kind of love to see. Yeah, it, man. so we're in for another big class next year. Uh, the, the whole just landscape of Texas next year, like high school football, is extremely stacked. So we're gonna load up next year, um, regardless of what happens. There's just so many great players in Texas. It's a great year for this, the Lone Star State. So man, recruiting's business is booming right now in terms of the recruits. Yeah, just gotta produce on the field, man. Yeah. Because you, you know for sure that that Sugar Bowl win has a lot to do with this. A lot of that momentum. So, as long as we just take care of business on the field, bro, this train will keep rolling. Yeah, man. We got back-to-back -back top three classes, and it looks like we're not gonna let up anytime soon. So, we're, we're getting to that level of Bama talent now, which we've always been kind of on the brink of it, but Herman's kind of stepped it, it up a little bit now more. Now we're really taking advantage of what we should be taking advantage of. Yeah, in my opinion. And yeah, yeah so recruiting is looking great right now. Uh, other than that, it's just a quick update for y'all. Yeah, I'm sure y'all know all this stuff. Talk about it a little Something bit. Something we have to get, just get off our chest, you know. Chest. Well, there's a lot to say. A lot to update. Um, and by the time you probably watch this, there'll probably be probably new dominoes one. have yeah. fallen. Uh, <laughs> so this might be obsolete by the time I watch this. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna wrap it up, Matt. Uh, yeah. Um, I hope we get a lot more recruits coming up soon, and we gotta produce in the field to continue this momentum. So let's hope we do, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Nation, we're back.